I'm all comfy in my robe today. I honestly feel so girly, but it feels right because today I'm finally going to be sharing my skincare routine with you all. I think this is possibly the most requested video on my channel ever, and I'm not gonna lie, I've been putting it off for a while because. I'll be the first to admit my skin hasn't been its best lately. I'll get more into it later, but I just really wanted to get a good skincare routine down before I filmed it for y'all. So that's why it's taken a little bit longer. Also, get excited because that's a giveaway at the end of this video. Yeah, you're gonna wanna stick to the end to find out. mentioned it before but I never really had like acne problems growing up like in school I always had pretty good skin I do have eczema though so that was always a problem but I never really had like acne problems my face for the most part was pretty clear but the past year um I don't know if it was like hormones or just like because I went through so many changes just lifestyle things but my skin started breaking out quite a bit not like crazy because I know a lot of people have it way worse but it was a little bit confusing for me because I was like, what is happening? This is not my skin. But I feel like the fact that I have struggled with like sort of bad skin lately really, really made me put effort into my skincare routine. So I think I finally figured out a good skincare routine to keep everything in control. Even though my skin isn't perfect, it is way better than what it used to be. I have a good routine down now and I'm so excited to share it with you all. But before we get into it, just be sure you're subscribed and you have your notification bells turned on so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And yeah, let's just hop right into it. So for the most part, I have pretty dry skin. I'd say like I do require a lot of moisture and everything, but um, it does also tend to get oily, especially on like my forehead and sometimes near my cheek. It just differs. I've learned to just like listen to my skin and use products accordingly. So it definitely differs from time to time, but I'm just gonna share like the basic routine with y'all. Let's get started. Wow, sun just left. Great. Anyway, so you guys know I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, I usually use micellar water to get it off. This is from Ompere Cosmetics. I don't know, it's some sort of like German brand. My mom actually got it for me from Europe. In case you want to know, I'll have the name down below. But I think any sort of micellar water will do. When I wear like light, like everyday sort of natural makeup, this is what I go for. But when I do have like heavier glam makeup, I usually go for makeup melt. Essentially, this is, it's sort of like a cleansing oil and it's very gentle and nice for my skin since it's so dry. And a makeup melt is definitely better than straight up using like coconut oil or something because it won't clog your pores. This does a really great job of like getting all the makeup off and still keeping your skin moisturized. So both of these are my go-tos to remove my makeup. It kind of just depends on the kind of makeup I'm wearing and like how my skin feels. I'll just use a cotton pad to get those on and and then just like rub in a circular motion, not too harsh because you don't want wrinkles. But yeah, this is I think pretty gentle and it gets the job done. I usually go through like two, maybe three of these depending on how much makeup I have. But these products I find really work the best for me. So once I have my makeup off, it's obviously time to cleanse. This is super important to me. I never ever go to bed without like cleansing my face. I just hate being home and having makeup on. My go-to face cleansers are these. First off is Cetaphil. This is just like my everyday face cleanser. My dermatologist actually told me to use this and I've been using it for like, I think like around 10 years. I'm not even kidding. This is my go-to cleanser. Soap used to be really, really bad for my skin as a kid. So I always went for this. Again, for like times when I'm wearing makeup or I just know I have a little more dirt like built up on my face, maybe after a workout or something, I also just take a foaming cleanser. This is from Clean and Clear. It's the natural bright face wash. So I know most people recommend washing their face at least twice a day. I've realized for my skin, specifically for like my skin, when I wash my face twice a day, my skin just sort of gets worse probably because of dry skin even when my skin is feeling oily i mostly just wash it once a day unless i'm like wearing makeup or something also to really really cleanse my face and make sure like all the dirt is off i also just use this little face brush so this is the brush i just picked it up from primark um you don't really have to get an expensive one i know they have like electronic ones and like fancy ones I just want to get like a simple one but this is such a blessing it has one like massaging 
side and one like cleansing side. Usually just put my cleanser like on here and then I wash my face with it in like circular motions. You don't really need it but it does really help get all the dirt off. So once I'm done cleansing my face, this is when I like to do my masks. So I have a few favorite ones, I've mentioned them in a video earlier but today I'm just going to be using the Rosy Cheeks Mud Mask from Lush. I love this one because it's very gentle and calming. I usually use it when my skin is going through a little bit and it really helps just remove all impurities and leaves it feeling overall just really good. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep this on to like feels like it's dry. Um, that's usually around 15 minutes. addition to my routine has been toner. I never really knew what toner was. I always just saw YouTubers use it and I was like, okay, that sounds interesting. I picked up the Pexy Glow Tonic. I'd heard a lot about this and I'd seen it like all over social media. So I really wanted to give it a try. And it's basically just like an exfoliating toner with glycolic acid and some other ingredients which are supposed to be good for your skin and they really are. I definitely saw a difference in my skin after I started using this. And again, to put this on, I just use a cotton pad and just sort of apply it all over. I don't really use this every single day, maybe every alternate day, just because it is acid and it can get harsh on my skin. So once I put the toner on, I go in with this beauty. It's a facial mist from Subtle C. You guys know I used to love my Mario Badescu rose water and I still do, but I find this just works so much better. It has like tea tree oil, it has aloe vera, glycolic acid. It's just super good. It's just so refreshing. Like I honestly use so much of this. Ouch! Okay, it's in my head. Mm. Especially in the morning, like just to wake myself up, it just feels so amazing. Notice quite a bit of a difference after I started using this. It has tea tree, which is supposed to be really good for acne, and it's also sort of been helping with my acne scars. So yeah, I'll just spray that on and I'll let it like sit on my skin for a good two minutes, and then I'll go in with my sunscreen. Sunscreen, you guys know, I've said it a million times, it's the most important part of my skincare. I'm not gonna lie, I do sometimes forget to put it but it's really essential to have this on as you can see i'm in the sun all the time so i really really do need skincare uh, really really do need sunscreen uv rays are so bad for your skin and you're gonna thank yourself in a few years if you use sunscreen every day trust me i also have some discoloration if you can see so sunscreen does help a lot anyway on to moisturizing so so the area around my eyes is super sensitive and it tends to get very dry i definitely prefer using an eye cream i don't do this all the time i don't really have a favorite eye cream but i've been loving the estee lauder advanced night repair eye concentrate that was a handful but yeah i just got this in a pr package a few days back and i've been using it it's super cool little like ball thing at the end that helps to deep up your eyes as well as i mentioned i have a few acne scars and i didn't really know what to do about it i don't know if this works but right now i'm just using the lancome like a brightening serum so it's supposed to get rid of these i don't really know if it's been working i probably should invest in like vitamin c or something i'm gonna figure that part out but that's what i've been using recently then for moisturizer you guys know i always use emoline this again dermatologist recommended i mean i don't know if you're supposed to be using it if your doctor hasn't recommended it to you but this is what i usually use Although recently I've realized it's been clogging my pores a little, especially on my forehead. For the past few days, I've just been using Cetaphil, which is, it's basically my moisturizer for my body, but I've also been using it on my face lately and it's working pretty well. Another one of my essentials that I just have to mention is Vaseline. I live by Vaseline. It's like my holy grail. I feel like I mention it in every video, but I couldn't survive without Vaseline. It's like the only kind of lip balm I use. I also occasionally exfoliate my lips with the Lush, what is it called? 
the cotton candy lip scrub from Lush. That's my favorite. I carry Vaseline with me everywhere. I use it like around my eyes when they're feeling dry. I also quickly wanted to talk about sheet masks. I feel like I've used so many and I definitely have some favorites by now and some that I don't really like. The Lamise charcoal mask, that's my favorite. And then even the Dr. Chart one, that was like the coolest mask ever. Anyway, I'm just gonna have like a few of my favorite sheet masks listed down below. I don't really have any on me right now, but I do love using sheet masks when I want some extra moisture or even when I just wanna like chill and feel good. I also really, really wanna mention the Summer Fridays mask from no, the jet lag mask from Summer Fridays. But this mask is honestly so good. I've been using it so much and I feel like it's exactly what my skin needs. I usually use this at night, not very often, just when I feel like my skin needs it. You basically put it on like moisturizer, but I kind of layer it on a little bit like a mask. And then when you wake up, you wake up with the softest, like most nice feeling skin ever and it never ever ever clogs it or anything makes my skin feel like super good and hydrated so i definitely recommend this mask if you have dry skin i'm guessing that's pretty much it i feel like i'm forgetting something i really hope not but those were all my skincare products thank you so much for watching i really hope you liked it if you try any of these out let me know what you think about them however guys the video isn't over i have a little surprise for you all since this video was like so requested for so long and i put it off for so long i felt like i had to do a little something to make it up to you guys so i'm just gonna have some of my favorite masks in here and i hope whoever wins it loves it as much as i do as for the rules of entering in you just have to be subscribed obviously because i want to get back to my subscribers and also follow me on instagram and comment what should you comment? Let's make it interesting. <laughs> okay, I can't think of anything. Just comment your favorite emoji on my most recent Instagram post. And from there, I'll just pick someone at random. And I'll just drop you all a DM so you know. I'll also just put the winner in the description of this video. So you can come back in like, let's say two weeks and check up on who won. I'm super excited. I've never really done giveaways. I really hope this is fun. And yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and everything. And I'll see you next time. Bye. But I didn't really have <clears throat> I <sighs> Okay, I give up. Um So my widow, my widows, um, let's start with, where do people start makeup? Anyway, so for the products, anywhere, okay. What do I want to say? Hey guys, what's good? But yeah, I feel super cute, I'll think basically what's to it i feel super goo <laughs> <laughs> on just so you know my phone keeps moving <laughs>